All right, Mr. Crowley, what do we got here? Tell us about this bed knife. We got a brand new bed knife. So you bought this bed knife just barely? Just barely, mounted it, put it on and just kind of true it up. Should be a pretty easy grind. Okay, so it comes from the factory with a little grind on it. Mm. What we have here is the Fully United 673. This is an automatic bed knife grinder and the bed knife grinder here features a magnetic mounting system. These are electromagnets. They have two stops on each side. So these are workpiece stops, one here and one here. So to mount these bed knives, we pull these stops out, one here, one here, and then Mr. Crowley's gonna slide the bed knife right to the edge of those workpiece stops. Got it, very nice. And there's uh, just a switch here that turns the magnet on and off. So magnet activated. How tight is that on there? That sucker's on there. So super strong electromagnets, hold the bed knife on, and that gives you access to this top face and this front face here of the bed knife. You gotta swing down these little work stops, get them out of the way here. And we're essentially ready to grind the what you call the front face of the bed knife? We'll do the top face first. Okay, we're gonna do the top face, which is where? So that's right here, the okay. top. We're gonna set it at five degrees, front relief and a five degree rear relief. So on this machine, there's a little stop screw that just sets in here. And this plate, this whole mounting assembly here, rotates up or down, depending on what part of the bed knife we're doing. So there's a stop down here on the side. The angles are pre-calculated. The stop up here, angles are all pre-calculated. And then show us how this flips up, Mr. Crowley. So there's a switch here he's pushing. And then this automatically rotates itself up. So we can do the front face of the bed knife and you'll watch it just hit against here, stop. We know it's right at five degrees. Very cool. Okay, so you can see the bed knife is set here. Face is vertical. It's still on all the mounting hardware for the mower. We've got the stone here. We don't wanna, we don't wanna jog it up too high or it will hit into this part right here. And then Mr. Crowley's just gently jogging the wheel in here until it just barely touches, right? Mm -hmm. so you're just gonna get a little tiny touch here. Now this machine has an auto in-feed stepper right here. This will step in in one thou increments. Whenever we're grinding right here, we're stepping in in one thou increments and that's just kind of what comes from Foley as the standard. So we've set some traverse limits here with these proximity switches. These can slide wider or narrower depending on how big your bed knife is. And this will automatically traverse itself over. Once it hits this proximity, it will stop. And then it will traverse itself back over to this side, hit this proximity and stop, and back and forth so that it's grinding just the width of this size of bed knife. Now we have some wider bed knives that we use on our gang mowers. This right here will slide over if we need it to be wider as well as the traverse limits on the proximity switch. All right, so just a little look at the controls here. We're gonna do a little test. Pretty simple. I'm gonna turn run. the wheel on. Wheel on. Just gonna slowly jog this in incrementally until he gets some sparks going. Once we hit with sparks, we know we're good to start grinding. And we'll run a, a program. Okay, so we have what? This is a auto traverse here. Uh -huh. And then this is to turn the wheel on. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go to program two. Which is eight in feeds at one thou each. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna in feed eight thou right now. That's eight in feeds at a thou each.
So you can see the difference here in where we ground versus where we haven't ground. The shiny silver spot is where it has been ground. We're trying to get that line there between the light and the dark all the way to light. Pretty close, yeah, there's a little variation right there on the edge, you can see between the two. There's the angle that we've ground there, and then the previous angle just above it. So we're gonna do, what, eight more foul and try and just get that out? Are you happy with this? No, let's do one more, I want to take one more foul. Okay, so one more. So we're gonna go eight more foul in feed. that these bed knives will be going on. This is the five reel, reel master cross tracks. And we have two of these units, so we have 10 of these reels. All right, so we're mounting the bed knife on here. It's good across. We're gonna try and mount our bed knife so that it's just barely off of touching because we don't want those two to be rubbing together. So you've got just maybe a thou or two between the bed knife and the reel when it's all said and done. And it's kind of a dance of getting the sides leveled out until they come down and they both touch. And then we back it off just barely after that. Enough to cut the width of a paper or a blade of grass, but not so close that they're physically touching and rubbing on each other. Circumcise a gnat. You're gonna have to edit that one. Supposed to be child friendly. You're gonna have to edit So these are pretty easy to mount, easier than uh, some of the mowers in the past that we used to work on. Essentially just these two bolts that go through, and then there's another one up here that you dial in, and it sucks this up and pushes the bed knife down into the reel. So these have been ground, they have about, oh, maybe a 32nd to a 16th of a face there and then a relief grind along the whole length of the reel. Close. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. All it took was a bunch of grease all over Literally me. Literally some elbow grease all over your shirt. So that's kind of the process. That is the video on the Foley bed knife grinder. Thanks, Mr. Crowley, for showing us around. This hey. is gonna be a great addition for our shop. It was nice being with everybody today. It was really nice. <laughs>